high frequency sight words. This is one of the key strategies we use to help students build up their oral fluency at a very early age. So even earlier than kindergarten, but definitely in kindergarten, uh, kindergarten teachers are helping their students uh, rapidly recognize high frequency sight words. There's a definition here and I wanna read it to you. It says here, high frequency sight words are words most commonly used in the English language. Sometimes we call them sight words, and sight words are words that are instantly recognized and identified without conscious effort. So these are the words that we don't really go through the process of decoding. We want to really uh, have students uh, learn a couple of weeks. So usually in kindergarten, you pick out a couple of words a week, and you build those so that the, the students have these words in, in their automaticity. They, they've memorized them. Now, in going through these sight words, the teacher might work with, you know, uh, matching up some of the decodable parts with words. And then there are other times where they just have students memorize the words. So the words that have decodable parts, we'll just call them regular. These are regular words, which you can use phonics to help decode uh, the words. We have a couple of regular words here, like the words we. Uh, we is a, is a regular word. It actually uses phonics to decode it. It's an open syllable. It's a constant vowel, right? And that open syllable makes the vowel long, just like in we. Or the word C. C it has a, a vowel diagraph, right? A vowel team where that vowel team makes it long. These are very phonetically regular words. Uh, we wouldn't necessarily in kindergarten go through open syllable and vowel diagraphs with a student, but you know, we would have them memorize these words, but but there is the, there, you could use phonics to analyze them. And on the same time, we also have within this set of words, we also have irregular words. Now, irregular are words are, you know, high frequency sight words that you can't really use phonics to decode. Or they're words where they're, they're, they're partially uh, um, decodable. So what that means is like in a word like, um, in a word like uh, what, right here, the word what. It has decodable parts, meaning that the WH is decodable, right? And the T is decodable, but the A, ooh, that's not decodable. It's not short A, it's not what, it's not long A, it's not weight, it's something else. It's a, uh, it's actually a. Uh. So it's an irregular word. So within these high set of high frequency words, there are regular and irregular words going on. But these are words that we wouldn't uh, really focus on teaching the phonics rules. We more focus on with these words, building it into the student's automaticity so that when they see the word we or what, they become sight words where a student rapidly recognizes them without going through the decoding process, okay? Now, a lot of these words, um, sometimes you, you might hear them as, as called uh, popcorn words. So kindergarten class might be saying popcorn words. That sounds a lot better than high frequency sight words, but these, they're the same thing. This is a, another definition for, for high frequency sight words. It says popcorn words or high frequency sight words make up at least 50% of the words in a text. Um, many of these words are irregular and cannot be sounded out with, with using phonics. So that's that's just like the word, uh, the word that we just looked at, like what? It is a word that you know has parts to it that are irregular. Uh, there are other words here that are irregular too. Um, I bet we could, um, like words like of and some and one, right? These are all examples of irregular high frequency sight words too. So we want to be familiar. We want to know that that within these popcorn words, there are going to be a lot of words that you, you can't use phonics to decode them. And so we, we have students memorize it, okay? And so that if they have a high, a high degree of high, a high frequency sight word vocabulary, They'll be able to go through um, and go through a lot of text relatively rapidly, and this will really help them with their oral reading fluency. So when we connect this idea back to the essays, you can spot when a student has a high degree of high frequency vocabulary, right? I mean, they, they're they're decoding and and recognizing all these basic words in their essay. That's a strength if you can point it out. You also want to be able to point out when they're not using high frequency sight word vocabulary. A lot of times gaps in high frequency sight word vocabulary happen with these irregular verbs, or irregular words. So that would be something you'd want to point out as maybe as an area of need if you saw the student dropping a lot of high frequency irregular sight words. 
like like they're struggling with words like uh, of and some and one and what. If you saw a pattern of them struggling with high frequency irregular sight words, you'd want to be able to point that out in your essay. Okay. All right. Um, just a little bit more, and then we'll get to the question. Okay. Sometimes we can look at high frequency sight word vocabulary, and we can break it into groups. Like we can break it into content words. That means we're looking at everyday words that are nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. And, and, and often a lot of these words are considered regular, meaning like uh, you can use phonics to decode them. So like just examples of a noun that's regular. I'll, I'll just use uh, animals. Uh, cat is a, a CVC word. It's very decodable or very regular. Uh, verbs, uh, run. Another CVC word, very, very, uh, that's a uh, constant, vowel constant, very regular word, right? Or fast, you know, uh, oh, no, then no, that's not, that's not a verb, sorry. Uh, run, to run is a verb, right? So it's so a lot of uh, adjective, um, you know, uh, fast, run fast, fast runner, right? So we have these adjectives, these are all are very decodable, not all of them, but um a lot of these words are very decodable, quickly, adverb, okay? So we can have content words within high-frequency words. And when it says the phrase content words, those are high-frequency words like nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Just remember that with content, uh, content words, okay? Let me add on function words. Now, this is a type of high-frequency sight word vocabulary. When we say function words, we're referencing high frequency sight words, right? Like uh, prepositions and pronouns and conjunctions. And the thing that you want to realize with these words is they're not content vocabulary. They're not like, uh, they're not content words like nouns, verbs, adjective, adverbs. And a lot of these words can be irregular, like words like of. Now, so if you ever see function words, you need to realize that they, that makes up prepositions, pronouns, conjunctions. And some of these words might be tricky for a student because although they're hot, they're high frequency, you can't really use phonics to decode them. Not like, you know, some of these content words where a lot of them are very regular and very decodable. Okay. All right. Now let's take this idea and let's apply the, let's take this uh, review of high frequency sight words, right? The, and those words that those high frequency sight words that are both regular and irregular and our awareness of what, you know, like function words are and content words are. And let's apply it to some problems. Okay.